Let's bring in our Washington correspondent, uh, Philip Crowther, who joins us from the Capitol. Uh, Philip, bring us up to speed. What's the latest we're hearing in terms of uh, the parade's cancellation? Well, the latest comes from the U.S. president himself and his Twitter feed in which he announces that, in fact, because there won't be a military parade here where he lives in the U.S. Capitol, he'll instead be going to where you are. He'll be going to Paris on the 11th of November, he says, for a military parade that is already planned there in the French capital uh, to celebrate the end of World War I and the anniversary of that. Uh, so that's what comes from the Twitter feed of the U.S. president, in which he also says it was his decision to cancel this military parade because of uh, spiraling costs uh, at fault, he says is the local government here in Washington, D.C., that put a high price tag on such a military parade, the likes of which the United States and the U.S. Capitol haven't seen since the beginning of the 90s, when there was one during the presidency of George H.W. Bush at the end of the Persian War. Uh, the D.C. government doesn't want this to happen. And there are very high chances, in fact, that the Defense Department, the Pentagon, doesn't really want this to happen either. Because yesterday, news first filtered through that this military parade, this potential military parade, was going to be a lot more expensive than was expected, $92 million potentially, hence why the Pentagon yesterday put out a statement saying that it was looking at possibilities in 2019 instead next year. But the U.S. president on his Twitter feed instead decided to say that it was actually his decision to cancel the parade altogether. He didn't offer any evidence, though, that it was actually his decision to do so and not that of the Defense Department. Uh, Philip, you mentioned there the Defense Department and perhaps not uh, totally backing the idea for a parade. Do you have any, any idea as to how much public support there is for such a, such a show? Well, there wouldn't be a lot of public support here in the U.S. Capitol where it would happen. Uh, the simple reason is that this is a city where uh, Democrats largely live, where the U.S. president, in fact, as a candidate, uh, only got uh, under 5 percent of the vote in the presidential election. So he's not a popular person here in the U.S. Capitol. Of course, what he was going to do with this military parade, he was going to have it on Veterans Day here in the United States on the 10th of November. Now, that would also mean it's a lot more difficult to protest something like this, because Veterans Day is a day that is respected by everybody in the United States, by Democrats and Republicans alike. As with everybody, everything that the U.S. president decides to do, essentially there are two camps. His supporters are all for it. His supporters would have come out in droves, undoubtedly, for a military parade here in the U.S. Capitol. Democrats on the other side think this was a pretty absurd idea, a silly use of money, uh, the, light, the money of which, uh, for example, some uh, had been saved from the cancellation of military exercises with South Korea, for example. This is part of that deal with North Korea uh, that was signed in Singapore a few months ago. Uh, so essentially, you would have seen the same divisions here in Washington and in the United States as a whole. Uh, Democrats very much opposing this move by the U.S. president, his supporters, who would very much have been on board. Indeed. All right. Philip, thank you very much for that update out of Washington.